YouTube, what's good? We're back in this thing. Today we're gonna be going over this paper rip in half transition that I did in one of my music videos. And a few people have DM'd me like the post of my music video and been like, how do, how do you do this effect? Or how can you recreate this with your pack? So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's actually a really, really quick transition that you can do like throughout a music video. And it like doesn't really take up much time, but it's just like a cool transition to do. Before we get into the video, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm doing a holiday sale on the 4K Ultimate Texture Bundle Pack. So that will be 25% off. So you basically can get it for the price of the HD version. And the pack isn't gonna go back on sale probably all the way up until next year around this time, maybe Black Friday or something. So if you have been looking at it, it's definitely a good time to grab it. I think it's a good investment because it's a real versatile pack and you can use it on different projects. You can use it on album covers, music videos, a bunch of different things. I have a bunch of tutorials on my channel already and I plan on making a lot more. So there's basically endless amount of effects that you can do with it. Basically, you just have to incorporate it into one of your projects and you already make your money back on it. Also supports your boy. So if you go ahead and do that, really appreciate you. If you don't feel like spending any money, there is a free sample pack on the website. So you can also follow along using that. I uh, definitely want to give everyone the opportunity to try out these effects. If you're new here, what we're doing is a thing called Tutorial Mist. It's where I upload one video every day all of December. So 31 videos in the 31 days of December. So definitely be sure to subscribe and go check out the videos that I've already posted because there are a lot of tutorials out already and there's still a few more to come for the rest of this month. If you haven't already liked and commented, I actually don't have a video planned for tomorrow for Christmas. So maybe I'll do a Q&A tomorrow. So if you go ahead and ask me some questions and I get enough of them, maybe tomorrow's video will be a Q&A. Uh, that would really help me out. Appreciate that. Also, one last thing before we get into the video, I just started a Twitch. I'll have that link below. We've been doing it on the YouTube live streams where we watch people's music videos and stuff, but like YouTube's not really uh, about that and they don't really like you watching like, like copyright stuff. So if like we decide to like watch some like cool music video that just came out, they'll actually take down my stream. So go ahead and follow my Twitch. So when I start doing those, we can like, you know, you guys can go in and promote your work and you guys can connect and stuff. I've already seen it in the chat and we've only had like 20 something people in at a time. So it's a, uh, it's definitely a really cool opportunity to kind of just like connect with other people. And I'll probably start streaming on Twitch once I get hundred followers. So definitely go and follow me there. But yeah, guys, that's enough talking. Let's get into the effect. It's really quick and uh, it's a cool effect. All right, so first off, I'm just gonna open up Premiere and just like all of these effects that have to do with paper, I'm just gonna be taking a screenshot. I already have one taken. I just took a screenshot right before it switched frames. You can do it two ways. You can do it either the start of a clip or the last frame of a clip. So you could have it kind of like rip away or like rip in. I'm gonna have it rip in. So I started, so I took a screenshot at the start of a clip, but you can also do at the end and just do the opposite of what I'm doing. Then going into Photoshop, just drag in your clip. And then I'm gonna go to my texture pack and go to paper rips and folds and then just find one that I wanna use. I wanna do something where it just rips in half and uh, I'm just gonna use this overlay. And since it's really high quality, you can just scale it up so it only has one bar and you won't be able to notice that it's uh, super zoomed in. So what we're gonna do is just find something that we like. I'm gonna turn it on screen right now so we can drag the cut where you want. You can even have a little bit of the rip up at top if you want. So I think something like that looks cool. It's gonna like rip. I'm gonna have it first come in at the bottom half of his body with some tape and then I'm gonna have the second one come in right here. So after you're done with that, I'm just gonna unlock that layer and then we can go ahead and add some grain or some noise to the background layer, the image. I'm not gonna add a crazy amount. I'm gonna make it non-monochromatic, meaning that there's gonna be colors in the noise itself and just bump that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use Gaussian. Clicking okay. You can add a photo filter. You can do a bunch of other stuff, but I think I'm gonna keep it how it is. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and merge these layers. And then I'm just gonna name this whole and then click Control J on it to copy it. And we're gonna name this one top. And I'm just gonna use the polygon tool. I'm just gonna go through right where the rip is. You don't have to be too precise, but uh, it does help. It's only like a two frame transition, so it's pretty simple to do. It's probably gonna be one of my quicker tutorials. And then I'm just gonna click Control J on that. And what's that, that's gonna do, make a new layer. And that new layer is only gonna have the top section. And then you can Control click on the image here, and that's gonna have a highlight of the selection or of everything in the image. And then I'm gonna go on that top layer. It's actually not our top layer. And we're gonna click Delete. We're gonna turn it on and then click Delete actually. You have to have, make sure it's on. And then we're gonna rename this one Bot, and we'll rename this one top. And just like that, we have basically the whole effect on, I'm just gonna turn on all these layers and then file, save it as a PSD. You don't even have to save it as individual layers because you can open up a Photoshop file in Premiere. So we're gonna name this rip transition one or something, because if you're doing multiple throughout, you could just number them. And then going back into Premiere, you can just import that whole PSD, click open, and it's gonna ask you to merge all layers. I'm gonna click individual layers, that way you have the three separate layers. And then going into there, we can go and drag each one in individually. And I have it set up already, so it's one frame at a time when you drag it in, but yours might be longer, so I'm just gonna make them each one frame. You don't even have to drag in the whole one, I guess, because you can just have the top and bottom come together. So it's gonna start there and go like that, 
and it's going to go into lucky. And then I think I'm just going to import something to make it to sell the effect a little bit more. Just going to tape and maybe we can use some, let's use some masking tape here. Just something pretty simple. Maybe use that one. You can add it wherever you like. Obviously, since it's really high quality, it's going to be super big. You should just scale it down to whatever you like. And then I use motion. I just click on motion here. So then you can uh, manipulate it how you want. And I'm going to have it like, I like having these like creases like right on the edge. So it kind of looks like it's like on there, if that makes sense. You can even uh, zoom into something like 150 so you can just see better. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller, maybe something like three instead of five. And uh, we'll go four. And then clicking on motion again. And then I'm just going to drag it so it's like right on the crease. And going back to fit, I'm going to have the tape last the whole duration. So it kind of just looks like it's taped on. And then let's do, let's make it actually two frames each. Not exactly sure what I did in the video of mine, but I like it looking like two frames. One, one, two. So we'll just drag out these two there. So it's two frames each, one, two, and then one, two. And I like that look better. And like I said, it's a really, really simple transition, but it, I think it's a cool transition that you can do throughout your music video. It doesn't take much time and it's just like, it just adds that extra element. Obviously you can spend more time if you want and you could like use like the Kyle brushes that I always recommend and rough up the edges, but I don't even think it's necessary since it's for two frames and the edges already kind of look roughed up. You can't really tell that it's a straight line. If you went and like dissected the video, maybe you could, but for those two frames, like you can barely even tell and it just adds a little extra element to it. Like I said, you could do the last frame of a clip. So if you wanted here, you could have it like start this frame or something and then you could have it rip away so like you get the bottom part rip away and it would show the video and the video would be moving and then go two frames and then rip away the second one but it's whatever you want to do like i said really quick tutorial just wanted to get you guys another effect out on the channel it is christmas eve so i'm trying to go spend some time with my family uh that being said that's pretty much it for the effects if you want to go ahead and grab my pack it is actually gonna be 25 percent off i'm probably gonna have just the holiday sale so all the way up until the new year it's gonna be 25 percent off the 4k ultimate pack and that pack only so if you did miss out on the initial sale this would be a good time to grab it like i said it will not go back on sale until probably this time next year if you made it all the way to the end i really appreciate you thank you very much definitely go ahead and ask me a question for my q a that i'm going to be doing sometime before the end of the year follow me on twitch so you guys can connect and kind of just show your work but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video peace